Hey everyone, it's Tira with Rent Mason Bees, and I just wanted to do a quick video and share with you what I just discovered. Um, I sent a newsletter out this week to everyone uh, to teach you how to examine your cocoons inside your PVC tube. I'll uh, post that link down below for the newsletter link that you may have missed and the video on how to do this. Um, but if you're up for it, we encourage you to check those cocoons. Um, it's the end of May, and so mason bee season is starting to wrap up. And um, mason bees are getting to be done, but there still might be some bees that haven't emerged. Uh, and you can help them out. Or what we really want to find are any cocoons that have mono wasps in them. Mono wasp is a kleptoparasite. It's the size of a fruit fly very similar to a Houdini, but it has this long, it looks like a stinger, but it's an ovipositor on the back end of it. And what it does is it crawls through your nesting chambers and it finds cocoons and it pokes its ovipositor into the cocoon and then it lays its babies inside. Um, this is another re very reason why it's really important to not leave your mason bee nesting blocks out all summer long. Um, once you don't see any more mason bee activity or your nesting block is completely full, that is the time where you're gonna want to gently remove your nesting material and place in a cool garage or shed. I'll link all the videos down below on how to snip your cocoons, the newsletters you may have missed, links to sign up for our newsletter and um, mono wasp videos as well. Uh, but I just wanted to show this to you today because I did snip one of my cocoons um, to check. I had four that didn't open. And uh, this is the reason why this one didn't open because there are mono wasps inside. And as you can see, there's a little bee in there as well. Um, looks like it was a little boy. And unfortunately it didn't make it because this um, these predators, these little mono wasp larvae um, killed the little bee inside. Um, so if you do snip your cocoons and you see uh, mono wasp inside, please dispose of those cocoons, um, dispose of those uh, little larvae in there because we don't want those back out in our habitat. And um, yeah, make sure, check below this video. I'm gonna post a whole bunch of stuff on here so you guys can learn more. Um, but yeah, please make sure you're following uh, or signed up for our newsletter because we teach through that. Um, and we really like to handhold everyone along the process of hosting bees. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, give us a call, pop us an email at info at rentmasonbees.com and happy pollinating. Thanks, bye-bye. Hey everyone, it's Tira with Rent Mason Bees back out at our shop and we are still unboxing all of your nesting blocks. So thank you for sending them back in. Um, as we're doing this, we are all finding a couple of blocks that still have some leaf cutter bees emerge, which is a great opportunity for me to show you how teeny tiny these little tiny bees are. They are the sweetest little bees. Um, don't worry, we'll release them out here to our yard and have them pollinate and enrich our habitat out here. Um, but I just wanted to take this opportunity to show you um, how some of these little bees are emerging and how teeny tiny they are. I'll pick up a couple of them and show you. Come here little bee. So you can see how cute they are. They are amazing little pollinators as you've learned from our videos. Leafcutter bees were the bees that saved alfalfa crops. Um, because they are so tiny, they are the only pollinator that can land on an alfalfa flower and not trip the pistil. Um, other bees and other pollinators, they can't get into it without the flower reacting and telling them to get off me. Um, but these little bees have saved our alfalfa. They're remarkable pollinators. Again, belly floppers, just like our mason bees. And it's just fun today to be able to see some of them emerging and share it with all of you. Um, I did get some video of them emerging and some macro lens and their eyes are unbelievable. So I will share all that with you, um, but just wanted to take a second and show you these teeny tiny little bees. All right, thanks for hosting everyone. Happy pollinating, bye.